Hello, good afternoon. Uh, this is Mark C. Maravillas, and for this afternoon, I will teach you on how to compute the statistics with unequal variance. Well, welcome to our series of how to videos. And for this afternoon, yes, we will be discussing or I will be teaching you on how to uh, check uh, or how to compute unequal variance using the our T statistics. Okay, this is somewhat a continuation of our. Uh, second video lesson okay wherein we discuss there if you can uh, still if you, if you have notes in our second video lesson we discuss there here the unequal uh, on how to test if our variants are equal or unequal so in our third video lesson I teach you on how to check or how to use the uh, statistics if the variants are equal okay but for this fourth video lesson i will teach you on how to compute for the t statistics with an unequal variance this one is the uh, you, uh, this one is the process on how to do it but in the case uh, but in this case i will not uh, oh, i will not teach you uh, i will not show you how and how i compute the variance of the uh, of the said sample because it will take us too long Provided or let us assume that the variants are unequal when you already solve the variance and so with that if the variants are unequal then we are to use the following formula so for the t here is our formula here x bar minus y bar over the square root of the variance of x of the group of x over n sub 1 plus the variance of the group of y over n sub 2 and we also have to check for our degrees of freedom and here is now our formula of the degrees of freedom uh, unlike with the equal variance that there is a need for us to check or to solve for the full vari full full variance in this case there is no need for us to check it that's why mas dalit ni siya humanoning ato ang unequal variance i prepared here a sample but uh, i think that it would be an, an inappropriate for me to write this one in the presentation but uh, as of this sample there is a comparison between uh, treatment x or the result of treatment x and treatment y here is now the process on how we get the value of the variance whether the variance is equal or unequal and as you can see the n here is 19 and for our um, mean for the group of x we have 16.81 and we have 17 cases here for uh, for the treatment y and we have here the our mean for the group of y 19.41 you go with this process of the checking of the variance and uh, we, I will, although i will not be showing it to you now because you uh, it will all, all only uh, follow the same process with our video lesson number two so in that case, there is a need for us to prepare first our hypothesis. So for our hypothesis in this case, there is no significant difference in the mathematics test. That is for the treatment X, uh, for four months of the control and the experimental group. So this one for the control represents the treatment X, and the experimental group represents the treatment number Y. Meaning to say that no, they are not the same with each other or the performance of the students between treatment X and treatment Y does not significantly differ from each other. So this, that is now our hypothesis. And suppose if these are now, you're done checking or calculating the variance and you know it is unequal but you get but in the calculation of the unequal and uh, or the calculation of the variance you can already get this the following data right we can get that our n sub 1 is equal to 19 n sub 2 is equal to 17 uh, our mean for the group of x is equal to 16.81 and our mean for the group uh, for the group of y is 19.41 and the variance of the group of x is 21.53 and the variance of the group of y is equal to 51 21.53 and for our variance for the group of y is equal to what's this 51.60 since we already have all of these then there we are now ready as because as you can see uh, our our formula in our formula we can we have we can just right away plug in all of our data here because no when we will solve our variance then right away we can plug in right away our data so let us try solving this one so we will from uh, this time we will try to plug in now our t 
our, 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 our values that we already computed okay so for our x it's this for the mean of x for the mean of the group or uh, for the mean of the group of x our mean is 16.18 okay we have here 16.81 minus the mean of y is 19.41 and over the square root of what is the variance of the group of x we have 21.53 that's 21.53 over the n n sub 1 that is 19 add by the variance of the group by the variance of the group of y we have 51.60 over the variance of uh, n uh, over n sub 2 which is 17. Okay, I will not uh, or I will not use anymore my calculator because I have already solved this one you just uh, if you want to check it so you can just uh, use your calculator for for uh, the purpose of checking so yeah the first thing that we should have to do is to subtract 16.81 minus 19.41 that is it will give us with negative point, point uh, negative 2.6 and for the square root we have here you just, just divide 21.53 divided by 19 it will give us 1.13 add by the divide this one 51.60 divided by 17 it will give us 3.04 rounded so you just copy 2.6 because we still have to simplify what we have here in below so we have here 1.13 add with 30 3.04 we will give us 4.17 and negative 2.6 over the square root of 4.17 we it will give us 2.0 zero and four so you just have to divide this one and it will give us negative uh, 1.27 so this is now our normal this is now our t statistic t stat is 1.27 okay we're done with our t stat so we will proceed with the next part which is the degrees of freedom because the degrees of freedom also will, uh, we, in order for us to reach into the point of concluding our work, there is a need for us to check for our degrees of freedom. Our degrees of freedom is equal to, it has a very, uh, uh, if we will look at the formula, it, it turns out to be very complicated, but no, it is not. It is very simple. The formula is very simple. And so, we will just plug in our formula here so what we have here is the variance of x minus 9 uh, minus n sub 1 variance of x is equal to 21.53 divided by n sub 1 is 19 it will give us 1.13 it will give us 1.13 add with the variance of y the variance of y is 51.60 divided by uh, what's this n sub 2 which is 17 it will give us 3.0 and oh okay then we have to square it next is i think these are these two are the same so this is just 1.13 squared over 18 n minus 1 n sub 1 is 19 minus 1 that is 18 and it will be added with this is the same 3.04 squared over 17 n minus 2 n sub 2 minus 1 is equal to 17 minus uh minus 1 that is equal it will give us a 16. okay so i think we already plugged in all of our data and this time we will simplify all of it so 1.13 plus 3.04 it will give us 17 point oh no let me check my calculator first what is this 1.13 add with 1.13 add with 3.04 it will give us 4.17 and what is the square of 4.17 it will give us 17.30 and 39 that's 17.39 that's why we have here 17.39 and what is the square root of 1.13 the 
that as 1.13 so squared squared pala that is 1.28 or here 1.28 over 18 add weight or this is the squared of 3.04 this 9.24 divided by 16 so next is we have here 17.39 over the you divide 1.28 divided by 18 it will give us what 0 0.07 add with 0 0.5 and 8 so 17.39 over you add 0 0.07 add with 0 0.58 it will give us 0 0.6 and 5 let me check it first 0 0.07 add with 0 0.58 it will give us 0 0.65 and O. Oh. and you have to divide 17.39 divided by 0 0.65 let us try doing it 17.39 divided by 0 0.65 it will give us 26.75 26.7 and 5 so we can round it off to 27 this will now be our degrees of freedom okay let me just show to you a yes that us i'll give you the degrees i did this t stat i know t stat that is equal to what is always t stat 1.27 our t creep at alpha 0 0.05 df of what is our degree of freedom our degree of freedom is 27 so we don't know yet that's why we have to check our what's this where is the, the t distribution table now alpha 0 0.05 we have here our alpha two tail 0 0.05 and our degrees of freedom is 22 that will give us 2.074 That will give us 2.0 and 7 and 4. Where is that? 2, 0 0.05 and 22, 2.07 and 4. 2.07 and 4. Okay, since our uh, 27, it's 27, not 22. It's 27, that's why it's 0, 2.052. Sorry. 2.05 and 2. Now we have now our t stat and our t critical value for this case. And so with that, as you can see, the t critical value is greater than the t stat, or the t stat is lesser than the t critical value. And so therefore, there is we have to reject for reject ha meaning to say we have to accept ho because there is no significant difference to accept oh, not significant our result is not significant so going back to our hypothesis here so our hypothesis says that there is no significant difference in the mathematics performance of the control group this is true as to our example as of uh, as, uh, as to our problem being set i hope you will find this video useful thank you